apparently he's had some kind of relation with Assad, who is the leader of the country. I was telling you, Syria. Okay. So um, he joins Assad, puts an air base in Syria. Okay. He now has two air bases in Syria. Okay. And uh, threatens anybody that if you come in, we will shoot you down. Right. He's also got battleships. Is that how the Turkish plane got shut down? A Turkish F- F-16 got shut down a couple of weeks ago. That was... Uh, got killed. Causing an international incident. Yeah, it was a Russian Russian plane uh, shot down a Turkish plane flying into... Well, the it was allegedly flying right, into... To, to the airspace. Right. Well, uh, Putin and Assad have warned everyone. Putin has uh, battleships in the oceans around there. Really? And Yeah, he said he ain't playing around. Not only that, but this week there were reports that Putin is doubling down on all their bases around the world, beefing them all up, and adding more bases around the world and someone had asked him, one of his minister of defenses, uh, about nuclear weapons. And the minister of defense said, Putin says, um, that's not off the table. Oh, okay. Nuclear weapons are not off the table. Not good. So we're going to go into Cold War II for the most part. Uh, I mean, especially if Hillary is elected or if, I mean, sorry, sorry. If Hillary buys it like Obama did... Or if Obama stays as president, we will be officially into the Cold War era part two, which does not look good. The thing about the original Cold War is you knew exactly what each side stood for. The one was total communist communism. And the other side was for free market capitalism. And if you were on one side, if you were on like the American side, communism was demonized so bad. I mean, if you look at the McCarthy era, one one thing I learned about the MacArthur, McCarthy era is that, and I I I did I just recently learned this, and I think that it is wrong because I I've always been like, yeah, we should really be um, watching people and uh, not allowing communism to infiltrate our free market capitalist society and and especially government, uh, particularly. The Department of Education, which now you're propagandizing the children. Right. So all that's really important. During the McCarthy era, they were actually jailing people for admitting that they believed in communism. And so you had a whole lot of Hollywood who are communists. They they called it the Red Scare. If you want to look it up, go uh, YouTube some uh, documentaries on the Red Scare or whatever. And uh, that was unfortunate because I don't agree. Because when you believe in something, that would be protected under the First Amendment, which is freedom of speech, freedom of thought. If you if you are a communist at heart, then that's fine. You shouldn't be arrested for that. And they were actually doing that during the. However, <clears throat> if you have a belief in a different type of government, and that our government should be changed, and you are making all efforts to overthrow, change, or start a coup. Or to propagandize children uh, outside of the uh, the uh, consent of the parents. All that well, stuff. Well, even the be. consent. I, even if the parents consent that you teach them communism or Islam, I think we've got a problem. Because both those religions wish to overthrow our current freedom of government. Well, I do know some Muslims. I don't that, like none of them. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't uh, overthrow the government, or even try. Not in their heart, but they're wishing that some of those other ISIS dudes do. I'll have to ask them about that. Should you should? I'll ask them. Maybe we'll have them on. <clears throat> should I call him right now? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. he would be. He has no idea to do this show. He'd be uh, like, wait, what? what? I'm on the air. Where, where are you? What air? What air? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so the uh, the thing with Trump. Is that he would be more of a capitalist, freedom, uh, deregulation type government versus Hillary, or as they call her, Killery, <laughs> Murdery, Murdery, whatever. <laughs> there's, a, there's a girl I know who is a very hardcore worker, hardcore capitalist, loving, really? okay. um, house owning, rent out houses, 
got ideas to make money. No, I think I know who you're talking about. And she says, you know what? Hillary's for business. Uh, what? Well, she's she's corrupted by him. Okay. But she's going to pile on. She's going to pile on regulations that are going to be a benefit to the companies that donated to her oh, campaign. They, there you go. That, Wait, that's that's what so. Just make is. sure you're working for the right. Companies. You better be doing the industries and companies that right. we right. know have dev, uh, donated heavily to the Clinton campaign if she ends up being president. Right. Well, which I'll be honest with you, if they elect, if if Hillary um, pays off the DNC, the DNC is running out of money. By the way, DNC is completely broke. Good. Yeah. We don't have to listen to their crap propaganda during the election cycle. So you're like, but but Obama's been raising hundreds of millions of dollars campaigning for the last seven years. Yes, that's true. And nobody knows where that money's gone. Well, he's allowed to keep it, isn't he? I don't know. If you don't spend it, you can keep it. Right? <laughs> well, but he, what, what is he running for? I should run, get a bunch of money, not buy a single ad, lose the election, and be like, thanks a lot, guys. People do that for a living. <laughs> Not only that, hilarious. Not only that, but if you meet certain qualifications, like if you can get enough people to sign a petition saying that you would be a bona fide, if you can show this thing, then you get uh, government matching oh, money. That's so wrong. Well, they want to keep it fair. Well, okay, maybe it's not wrong because I think I don't that. Know. Yeah, I mean. It, it, okay, so whatever. Trump railed on Hillary's lack of. Of um, bathroom break <laughs> during the you mean her her um, tardiness her tardiness or was it turdiness t- it was oh, turdiness wow. what eventually turned up <laughs> oh, was the story that there was a woman in the bathroom well there's more than one stall there's like three or four stalls okay and this goes back okay and I'll tell you the backstory and I've, I've told oh, you got to help me out though. Did she come in late to the beginning of, or yes. was it, okay, yes, yes. because it was, uh, unless you were oh, there. Oh, they went to break. They took a break. Well, that's what I was asking. Right. Was it, was it like uh, introducing our candidates no, and she wasn't no, there? No, no, Or it was, we'll be back after these messages. Correct. They come back and there's an empty pew. She's in the middle. There's an empty podium right in the middle of the two men. Right, all right. And the girl's gone. Mm-hmm. And Trump originally said this week, he's like, I thought she quit. (laughs) (laughs) Either that. Well, okay. So we know she didn't. We know she was late. She might have cut it halfway off. No. No, she did not. How do you know? I mean, it's clear. The reports are is that her aide. Because if you cut it halfway off, then you, it takes like like two or three rolls of paper (laughs) to clean Ah! that up. Ah! You do not cut it off halfway. There has to be a dire emergency to cut it off halfway. It's very important that you know this out there in Radio Land. <laughs> Brian has lost it. Uh, I know. No, I wasn't going. I, I did not think that she had. Uh, she did not have deuces wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, has this ever happened to you? Because apparently it may have happened to Hillary. Have you ever done, you know, the, the, the number two? And you're done. And right before you're about to stand up. You're it, not done. It, no, no. It turns out it feels like you got a brick that's lodged in sideways. And it got stuck. And you just, and this just happened just like that. Snap of fingers. You're about to stand up and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and, and, it, and it's painful. Right. So you got to give it a minute. And then your wife is like, uh, you've been in there for a while. Are you okay? I would like to stand up and get out of here. <laughs> but it feels like somebody stuck a dagger in me. <laughs> no. Maybe I'm, that happened to her. No, apparently her aide who watches the bathroom for her, um, there was a woman that went in there. She told her, she said, no, 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 you can't go. And she's like, oh, they're on stage. Okay, go ahead. Hurry up. Oh, so she the girl thought she was out because they're already on stage. Right. So the girl went in to use the bathroom. Hillary came during break. She refuses to share the bathroom with anyone. Okay, so where was she when the woman walked in? 
Hillary was standing outside the door waiting for the girl to come out. However, there were three or four stalls in there. And there was only one person in there. So somebody was in there before Hillary even went in. Right. So she said, Oh, there's somebody in there? Debate be damned. I'm going to stand here. And wait for that person to come out because I do not share. That is the dumbest thing. Doesn't she know that what this is going to lead to? It's going to lead to her walking out late. As she walked out late, she leant into the microphone. Okay. Come back from break. She's not there. The moderator starts in on a question. Mm -hmm. Just goes in on the question. You got to. Hey, hey, the show must go on. That's correct. And it went on. And as the, uh, I guess it's Bernie Sanders or somebody was answering the question, she strolls, she struts in, strolls in like nobody business, walks up to the mic, leans in while Bernie's talking. Sorry. Okay. (laughs) Just... It's just so. Wh- why even say anything? So okay. So I, I'm shocked. You know, in the in the book, um, the the uh, oh, what's the name of that? Uh, Don't aw- sh- awaken the giant within. Oh, right, right. So one of the things that he talks about in that book is you generally he believes that that people either do things to get out of pain or move into pleasure. Right. And I look at her decision making here. She and moves towards pain. pain. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying, okay, so by avoiding the pain of having to go into a bathroom that somebody is already occupying, she has to know that she's going to be moving into the pain of having to walk out onto that stage after they've already gone on. And that pain is less, less than, than, that's the argument in the book, sitting next to someone in the bathroom. There are stalls, right? Right, they're walls. By the way, when I was in um, the Marine Corps, not all bathrooms were like this, but a lot of them were. Just a row of crappers. Well. No walls whatsoever. In Italy, and I find out in a lot of parts of Europe, there, there's a in the bathroom, there's like a porcelain square slab on the floor. Okay. With two... It looks like shoe, like shoe prints, and they're raised up in this porcelain square. Raised shoe prints. Right. Okay. And a hole right in between the two of them. Okay. So what is the shoe prints for? You to stand on. You stand on it? Right. Uh, well, what? Do you squat? Yeah. So you stand and squat. Right. So you don't have to touch your cheeks on anything. Nothing. Eh. Eh, to better, each his own, I better guess. Better have good aim. Anyways. <laughs> what if you have the... That's Europe. Explosion? <laughs> what if you have an explosion? <laughs> there was so many painting in here. <laughs> Somebody used an, <laughs> an airbrush <laughs> and took the nozzle off. <laughs> <laughs> like some okay. pe- a pressure sprayer in here. Now that we've ruined... <laughs> now that we've ruined our audience. So anyway, so Trump came out this week. Is this called potty humor? This is potty humor. Hey, hey. We're talking political news here. We're talking right. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and that is potty talk. Right. So so Trump is at uh, a speech. He's giving a speech. He's talking to the crowd. And this is what he had to say. Oh, why are we doing this, Mr. Again? Producer? This is what he said. I know where she went. Uh-oh. It's disgusting. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> No, it's too disgusting. We talk about it. Don't say it. It's disgusting. Let's not do it. We want to be very, very straight up, okay? <laughs> but I thought that was... Wasn't that a weird deal? We're ready to start. They were looking. They gave her every benefit of the doubt. Because, you know, it's ABC and she practically owns ABC. She really does. I mean, George Stephanopoulos interviewed me the other day. It was terrible. L- let me just tell you. I may win. I may not win. Hillary, that's not a president. That's not, she's not taking us to, everything that's been involved in Hillary has been losses. You take a look, even a race to Obama. She was going to beat Obama. I don't know who'd be worse. I don't know. How does it get worse? But she was going to beat, she was favored to win, and she got schlonged. She lost. I mean, she lost. She got schlonged. She got schlonged. So that was the big controversy of the week. That he is so such a bad person. Vulgarity. He, vulgar. He used a Yiddish, which, by the way, for those of you... Is that really people, Yiddish? Well, yes. Yeah, sh- anything that starts with an S-C-H is Yiddish. <laughs> with, 
the the urban dictionary did not go yiddish